Hello and welcome to another Diecast Emporium video. This is actually going to be an unboxing slash review all in one. I've kind of taken the time to take all of the outer shipping boxes off and if it's a Highline series, that little protective thing that protects the tin case. So without wasting any more time whatsoever, let's go ahead and dive into the five models that I got today. First up is a former Norscott model. This is the CAT 308C CR Mini Hydraulic Excavator. I believe this was first released by Norscott in 2002. I almost forgot to show you guys the picture and specification details. I know a lot of you guys like to see those. Pretty interesting to note that the engine is a Mitsubishi engine. Okay. So as I was saying, uh, this was first produced during the time period of the Power Stripe, so you could have gotten it in the Power Stripe colors or the Power Edge colors starting in 2007. And it's good to see that Diecast Masters has kept up, and even though it is part of the Core Classic series, they've left it with the newer cap paint scheme. So the main differences, obviously, are the gentleman behind the wheel or behind the operator's control sticks, I should say. The blade is not strong enough to hold the machine off the ground. You can see it fall right there. However, it is a metal casting and looks good. The hydraulic lines up the stick are molded into the casting and aren't even painted black. Again, that would have looked a lot nicer. However, taking a closer look at the bucket, there are a couple holes that have already been drilled through. So if you wanted to lift some things... Um, you could do that. That's a nice touch. The back, the lights have been highlighted. You've got the Caterpillar logo right here and your exhaust. And from the front, you have a, what I would say is an overly large sized uh, grab rail to enter the cab. But other than that, a nice solid little piece. I know a lot of these, a lot of you guys, fellow collectors, really do enjoy the compact equipment. And they want more in 1 to 50 scale because most of the time the compact equipment is done in 1 to 32 or 1 to 125 scale. But here's one that's in 1 to 50 and looks good as well. So let's go ahead and move on to the next model. Again, another former Norscott model released within the past couple years and updated by DM. As you can tell, this is the Caterpillar 740B articulated dump truck. There will be two versions of this. This is the standard tipper. Um, however, Diecast Masters, I believe, they are still doing the EG, or excuse me, EJ, which is ejector. Um, that's the one that has the little ram, if you will, that pushes the material out of the bed so that it can operate in low-hanging areas where there isn't a whole lot of room to dump a body, or <laughs> to dump a lot of material out of the dump body. Great picture of the machine. I mean, I guess, suppose you could dump a body, too, if you wanted to, but, yeah. So, great-looking picture up on top. On the back, here's a good-looking picture of it as well. Although this one does have a tailgate. And here are your specs if you want to, to pause the video and look at those. Onward with our first Highline Series model. She is sitting snugly inside. And wow, she looks really, really good. That dump height is fantastic. I don't remember the Norscott one being able to achieve an angle of that height. Anyway, the uh, mud flaps are rubber on this one. You can see how easily they move around. The cylinder jackets are painted black. Got a couple hydraulic lines and some access stairs that are painted in silver. Up here you've got some more detail that they have added. Nice rubber tires. And because this is an articulated dump truck, it does bend in the middle. And you can actually hear the rubber tires going along the table. So we'll put that down. Looking towards the front, you got the cat logo, some nice lights, and our uh, operator behind the wheel. The hand and grab rails, though, over here, including the mirrors, are plastic. 
They are not metal. You can see how flimsy they are. But at least they do have silvered surfaces. So that's the 740B. Let's get him out of here and we'll get going with the next model. All right, so if you watched my other massive unboxing, you saw the Cat 938, which is the sister to this 930. Really, the only difference between the two guys, if I'm honest, is just the graphics. So if you prefer the 930 or the 938K, that's really the only difference. But here is the 930K that we'll be taking a look at now. It's outfitted with the optional pallet forks that you'll see in a minute. Up on top, great picture. Looks like it's got some aggressive mud tires. And again, the pallet fork affixed to the quick coupler. And on the back, your specs and a good picture of the machine. And with every Diecast Masters model, if you guys are not familiar, uh, you'll get a little pamphlet here. Inaugural edition 2015. Shows you what models are coming out, what models they're updating, that kind of thing. Definitely a worthwhile inclusion, and I'm glad that they included that. And again, with these Highline models, if you enjoy putting your hands through holes, you're just going to have one heck of a day. You're going to be so happy, you just won't know what to do with yourself. But you put your finger through the hole, carefully get this thing out. First thing out of the box, take a look at very briefly here. These are your pallet forks. They're not really that realistic in terms of the quick coupler. It just kind of hooks over and then locks in. But you can adjust the spacing of the forks. So if you want to grab something that's relatively narrow, you can do that or you can extend it out far away for a wide load such as that. So there's the metal forks and here is the machine. One of the things I love about both this and the 938 are the um, bolt detail on the tires, the lug nuts if you will. I think they look great. Nice warning graphics right there which is difficult to see. I'll see if I can bring it a little closer to the camera. But yeah, they are there. Good range of articulation. Another difference between this one and the Norse Scout one is the placement of the beacon light. If you look up on top, it used to be back here on the original Norse Scout one. Um, they have kind of put it towards the center on this one. Some updated perforations back here, which was not on the Norse Scout version. But other than that, still the same old machine. Windows have silvered surfaces, but they are flimsy plastic. And if you come around here, again, there's a lot of flimsy um, plastic for your hand and grab rails. Nothing's really metal, including the stairs. The stairs are also not metal. Your height, though, is pretty good. And your dump angle is pretty good. So another solidly executed model by Diecast Masters. Moving on. We got two more left in this video. While we're talking wheel loaders, why don't we take a look at one of the larger ones. This is the CAT 982M wheel loader. One of the last wheel loaders to be released by Norscott with the CAT license. So I don't really expect this one to have too much more updated detail, but we'll go ahead and take a look at it. Here it is working in a quarry, it looks like. Your specs. And up on top, he's loading a 760-90 off-highway truck. There it is, sitting inside. I really do not miss the days of twisty ties. All right, so there it is out of the box. Again, besides the operator and the warning labels, some updates that I can see are the aggregate handle, handler, um, text, which is completely legible towards the back, which looks good. Perforations for your engine and everything else looks good. Range of articulation, pretty solid. 
you can achieve most realistic angles with that. Have your windshield wiper up here and your lights here. See how high the bucket goes. Well, that's pretty good, actually. And your dump angle is good as well. If you'll give me one moment here, we'll bring the 740 over. And we'll see if it can clear the side of that, which I don't anticipate it having any issue doing that. And there you go. So these two would look great on your desk at work or in the display cabinet. Unusually for a wheel loader, though, there's no rear axle oscillation. And really, there's honestly subpar detail done. But you know what? Not a whole lot of people want to pose their model in this angle, so I don't really have a problem with there being a lack of detail. But I would like to have seen the oscillating rear axle. That's, that's a given for today's wheel loaders. So take note, Diecast Masters, you got to update that. All right. So there's the 982M. The last model is a Core Classics model that I um, purposely left for the last one because I think for the majority of the viewers, they're probably going to like this one the most. This has been around since 02. And not to sound like a broken record, but another Norscott model. Here it is. It's so large. It's the CAT 5110B Hydraulic Excavator. On the back, got a good picture of it and specification details, should you want to read those. All right, so let's get this big girl out and take a look at her. This has always been an impressive model and one that a lot of people have wanted. So now you have your chance to pick one up if you didn't get a chance to in the Norse God days, in the heyday of the cat model collection. Oh, that's cool. I like that a lot. There's actually, I'm not sure if the camera's picking this up, but there's actually some formers here to protect the grill work. So that was a nicely implemented. And there's another one under where the track should be. Right here. So that's cool. All right, onward with the review. Obviously, the 5110B is a large excavator, predominantly used in mining and quarry operations. Lots of lights, two exhaust. Um, warning label back here adds detail. And obviously, this was with the power, um, power stripe, where you had the little red line, as some people refer to it. Black um, mirror with a silvered surface looks great. And one of the things that I really like that Diecast Masters updated is the hydraulics. You can see all of the intricate detail of the hydraulic lines leading all the way down and then all the way up the boom and the stick. This is an ME, or a mass excavator, for those who are not familiar. So it's got a shorter stick on it, but a huge bucket. Here you have a little bit of wear plating detail and a five-tooth bucket. It does rotate 360 degrees on its undercarriage, which is good. And the tracks are metal, but they're not tensioned, and they don't have any working rollers. But if you have a surface uh, with any degree of resistance, which I just happen to have here on the side, they do roll without an issue. So, there is the CAT 5110B. Great model to own. It is a little expensive, but you do get a lot for um, what you are paying. Great model. One last thing I wanted to mention about this is that the cylinder jackets for the cylinders are plastic, but they're a good match in terms of paint, so it's very difficult to, to see that they're not metal. And the um, safety railings and grab rails as well are also plastic and not metal. But still, a great looking model overall. So as always guys, I really appreciate you watching my videos. I love to share my hobby along with you guys. So if you haven't yet, be sure to follow me on Instagram and Facebook and definitely subscribe to me here on YouTube. 
and we'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.